Jacob is a guy's guy. He loves planes. Fly like airplanes. He's cool with his little brother. Plus, he believes in the five-second rule, and he loves adventure. Jacob is the prototypical two-year-old. He's climbing, jumping. He's he's always kind of been our adventurous one. At birth. Jacob had a lesion on his back that didn't seem like much until he was 15 months old. He woke up and at three o'clock in the morning, um, just screaming, and it was, you know, before we could just see it. You know, you really kind of had to be looking for it. The skin wasn't discolored, and it just kind of felt a little bit thicker on that side, the the muscle.、Um, but if he cried, you could kind of see it pop out. But that night when he woke up, it was just sticking out. Um, probably a good three or four inches、um, out of his back, extending about from the shoulder blade to just above his hip. It was diagnosed as a rare disease that only 150 people in the world have. It's called blue rubber bleb nevus syndrome. They're basically、um, multiple venous malformations, and a venous malformation is just a piece of vein that didn't form properly during development of the embryo. Jacob's lesions had grown and were affecting his ability to walk. In later years, it could disrupt his digestive system, leave him disabled, or, if the lesions are near his face, it could disfigure him. In some cases, it's fatal. It was it was really hard for us when we realized that this wasn't going to go away, and this was going to be something that Jacob was going to deal with his entire life. Especially me, you know, being a nurse, it's just, you know. We heal. We fix things. We heal people. We help people. And to hear that, you know, we couldn't fix this, you know, it's just, it was really, really tough. It was a helplessness like I've never experienced. It's a heart-sinking feeling for any parent. Our doctors in Chattanooga were were wonderful,、um, but this is a novelty. You know, none of them have ever seen it before. This was, you know, and that was scary, very scary for us. It made it scarier when, you know.、Um, The doctors don't know anything about it either. Luckily, a Chattanooga doctor knew that one hospital had experience with this disease, Boston Children's Hospital. That led to another dilemma: the expense of getting the family to Boston. That's where Miracle Flights came in. You've got the insurance and flights, and 50% of it was off the board right there.、Mm-hmm. Just the, the flights. You know, where do we go? You know, shopping around. We didn't have to worry about all that.、Mm-hmm. You know, Miracle Flights took care of that for us. Miracle Flights brings relief and hope, financially and medically, but more so, emotionally. So we have lots of patients who benefit from agencies like Miracle Flights, who make it possible for families to not go into extreme debt in order to get the care that their child needs. There are families that couldn't come here without Miracle Flights. You know that they just don't have the financial resources to fly, and then sometimes they have to fly a couple of times, and that just adds up. And so having that resource to be able to help folks get up here, sometimes it's just for a clinic visit to see if we can even do a procedure, and then to be able to come back, use the Miracle Flights again to come back and actually have the procedure. It's invaluable. Thanks to Miracle Flights, Jacob, along with Luke and his mom and dad, spent a week in Boston to receive diagnosis and treatment. From the one doctor and the one place that is the authority on this rare disease. Uncommon for them to bleed. It's just a question of experience and、right. approach. Although Miracle Flights has put families on more than 85,000 flights traveling 45 million miles around the world, those numbers pale compared to the emotional relief. As with Jacob's condition, Rachel and David learned it's not going to be life-threatening. More life-altering. It just takes a, a big relief off, even though we still know that this syndrome is still as rare as it was before we came up here. But it doesn't. It doesn't feel. It doesn't feel quite as scary when you're around people that it, this is common to them. In the general sort of medical world, there's nothing routine about what he has or what's being done.、Um, but in this institution, what he has and what he's having done is totally routine. We do this every day. Because of Miracle Flights, Jacob and his family are spared future expenses for ongoing travel needs back to Boston. But there was still the surgical procedure for Jacob, which is never easy for a family.
with Jacob to stay home. I expect him to be in there for quite a while. It all worked out great for Jacob, and he was very grateful. Thank you very much. For more on Miracle Flights and how you can help Jacob and families like his, go to this website or call this number. For Flying for Your Life, I'm John Daly.